Energy density is the amount of energy stored in a given system or region of space per unit volume. Colloquially it may also be used for energy per unit mass, though the accurate term for this is specific energy. Often only the useful or extractable energy is measured, which is to say that inaccessible energy such as rest mass energy is ignored. In cosmological and other general relativistic contexts, however, the energy densities considered are those that correspond to the elements of the stress-energy tensor and therefore do include mass energy as well as energy densities associated with the pressures described in the next paragraph. Energy per unit volume has the same physical units as pressure, and in many circumstances is a synonym, for example, the energy density of a magnetic field may be expressed as and behaves as a physical pressure, and the energy required to compress a compressed gas a little more may be determined by multiplying the difference between the gas pressure and the external pressure by the change in volume. In short, pressure is a measure of the enthalpy per unit volume of a system. A pressure gradient has the potential to perform work on the surroundings by converting enthalpy to work until equilibrium is reached. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Introduction to energy density. There are many different types of energy stored in materials, and it takes a particular type of reaction to release each type of energy. In order of the typical magnitude of the energy released, these types of reactions are, nuclear, chemical, electrochemical, and electrical. Nuclear reactions are used by stars and nuclear power plants, both of which derive energy from the binding energy of nuclei. Chemical reactions are used by animals to derive energy from food, and by automobiles to derive energy from gasoline. Liquid hydrocarbons fuels such as gasoline, diesel and kerosene are today the most dense way known to economically store and transport chemical energy at a very large scale. 1 kg of diesel fuel burns with the oxygen contained in approximately 15 kg of air. Electrochemical reactions are used by most mobile devices such as laptop computers and mobile phones to release the energy from batteries. Topic Energy densities of common energy storage materials The following is a list of the thermal energy densities that is to say, the amount of heat energy that can be extracted of commonly used or well-known energy storage materials, it doesn't include uncommon or experimental materials. Note that this list does not consider the mass of reactants commonly available such as the oxygen required for combustion or the energy efficiency in use. An extended version of this table is found at energy density hashtag extended reference table. Major reference equals. The following unit conversions may be helpful when considering the data in the table. 3. 6 MJ. Equals 1 kWh approximately equals 1.34 HPH. Equals. Topic. Energy density in energy storage and in fuel equals In energy storage applications the energy density relates the mass of an energy store to the volume of the storage facility, e.g. the fuel tank. The higher the energy density of the fuel, the more energy may be stored or transported for the same amount of volume. The energy density of a fuel per unit mass is called the specific energy of that fuel. In general an engine using that fuel will generate less kinetic energy due to inefficiencies and thermodynamic considerations. Hence the specific fuel consumption of an engine will always be greater than its rate of production of the kinetic energy of motion. Nuclear energy sources The greatest energy source by far is mass itself. This energy, E. Make 2, where m equals rho v, rho is the mass per unit volume, v is the volume of the mass itself and c is the speed of light. This energy, however, can be released only by the processes of nuclear fission 0.1%, nuclear fusion 1%, or the annihilation of some or all of the matter in the volume 5 by matter-antimatter collisions 100%. Nuclear reactions cannot be realized by chemical reactions such as combustion. 
Although greater matter densities can be achieved, the density of a neutron star would approximate the most dense system capable of matter-antimatter annihilation possible. A black hole, although denser than a neutron star, does not have an equivalent antiparticle form, but would offer the same 100% conversion rate of mass to energy in the form of Hawking radiation. In the case of relatively small black holes smaller than astronomical objects, the power output would be tremendous. The highest density sources of energy aside from antimatter are fusion and fission. Fusion includes energy from the sun which will be available for billions of years in the form of sunlight, but so far 2018, sustained fusion power production continues to be elusive. Power from fission of uranium and thorium in nuclear power plants will be available for many decades or even centuries because of the plentiful supply of the elements on Earth, though the full potential of this source can only be realized through breeder reactors, which are, apart from the BN600 reactor, not yet used commercially. Coal, gas, and petroleum are the current primary energy sources in the U.S. but have a much lower energy density. Burning local biomass fuels supplies household energy needs cooking fires, oil lamps, etc. worldwide. <laughs> Thermal power of nuclear fission reactors The density of thermal energy contained in the core of a light water reactor PWR or BWR of typically 1 GWE 1000 megawatts electrical corresponding to approximately 3000 megawatts thermal is in the range of 10 to 100 megawatts of thermal energy per cubic meter of cooling water depending on the location considered in the system the core itself approximately 30 cubic meters the reactor pressure vessel approximately 50 cubic meters or the whole primary circuit approximately 300 cubic meters. This represents a considerable density of energy which requires under all circumstances a continuous water flow at high velocity in order to be able to remove the heat from the core, even after an emergency shutdown of the reactor. The incapacity to cool the cores of three boiling water reactors BWR at Fukushima in 2011 after the tsunami and the resulting loss of the external electrical power and of the cold source was the cause of the meltdown of the three cores in only a few hours. Meanwhile, the three reactors were correctly shut down just after the Tohoku earthquake. This extremely high power density distinguishes nuclear power plants NPPs from any thermal power plants burning coal, fuel or gas or any chemical plants and explains the large redundancy required to permanently control the neutron reactivity and to remove the residual heat from the core of NPPs. Topic: <laughs> Broad implications. Energy density differs from energy conversion efficiency net output per input or embodied energy the energy output costs to provide, as harvesting, refining, distributing, and dealing with pollution all use energy. Large-scale, intensive energy use impacts and is impacted by climate, waste storage, and environmental consequences. No single energy storage method boasts the best in specific power, specific energy, and energy density. Puckert's law describes how the amount of useful energy that can be obtained for a lead acid cell depends on how quickly we pull it out. To maximize both specific energy and energy density, one can compute the specific energy density of a substance by multiplying the two values together, where the higher the number, the better the substance is at storing energy efficiently. Alternative options are discussed for energy storage to increase energy density and decrease charging time. Gravimetric and volumetric energy density of some fuels and storage technologies, modified from the gasoline article. Note: some values may not be precise because of isomers or other irregularities. See heating value for a comprehensive table of specific energies of important fuels. Note, also it is important to realize that generally the density values for chemical fuels do not include the weight of oxygen required for combustion. This is typically two oxygen atoms per carbon atom, and one per two hydrogen atoms. The atomic weight of carbon and oxygen are similar, while hydrogen is much lighter than oxygen. Figures are presented this way for those fuels where in practice air would only be drawn in locally to the burner. This explains the apparently lower energy density of materials that already include their own oxidizer such as gunpowder and TNT, where the mass of the oxidizer in effect adds dead weight, and absorbs some of the energy of combustion to dissociate and liberate oxygen to continue the reaction. 
This also explains some apparent anomalies, such as the energy density of a sandwich appearing to be higher than that of a stick of dynamite. <laughs> energy densities ignoring external components This table lists energy densities of systems that require external components, such as oxidizers or a heat sink or source. These figures do not take into account the mass and volume of the required components as they are assumed to be freely available and present in the atmosphere. Such systems cannot be compared with self-contained systems. These values may not be computed at the same reference conditions. Divide joule per cubic meter by 109 to get megajoule per liter. Divide megajoule per liter by 3.6 to get kilowatt hour per liter. Energy density of electric and magnetic fields Electric and magnetic fields store energy. In a vacuum, the volumetric energy density is given by U equals epsilon 0 2 E 2 plus 1 2 mu 0 b 2 display style u equals frac var epsilon underscore 0 2 math bf e caret 2 plus frac 1 2 mu underscore 0 math bf b caret 2 where e is the electric field and b is the magnetic field the solution will be in si units in joules per cubic meter in the context of magnetohydrodynamics, the physics of conductive fluids, the magnetic energy density behaves like an additional pressure that adds to the gas pressure of a plasma. In normal linear and non-dispersive substances, the energy density in SI units is U equals 1 2 E D plus H B Display style U equals FRAC one two Math BF E C D O T Math BF D plus Math BF H C D O T Math BF B where D is the electric displacement field and H is the magnetizing field. In the case of absence of magnetic fields, by exploding Frolic's relationships it is also possible to extend these equations to anisotropy and nonlinearity dielectrics, as well as to calculate the correlated Helmholtz free energy and entropy densities. See also Footnotes Topic Further reading The Inflationary Universe The Quest for a New Theory of Cosmic Origins by Alan H. Guth, nineteen ninety eight, ISBN 0-201-32840-2 Cosmological Inflation and Large Scale Structure by Andrew R. Little, David H. Lith, 2000, ISBN 0 521 57598 2. Richard Becker, Electromagnetic Fields and Interactions, Dover Publications Inc., 1964. <laughs> external links Carrot. Aircraft Fuels. Energy, Technology and the Environment ed. Attilio Bizio. Volume 1. New York, John Wiley & Sons, Inc., 1995. 257-259. Fuels of the Future for Cars and Trucks. Dr. James J. Eberhardt, Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy, U.S. Department of Energy 2002 Diesel Engine Emissions Reduction DEER, Workshop San Diego, California, August 25-29, 2002. Heat Values of Various Fuels, World Nuclear Association. www.world-nuclear.org. Retrieved 4 November 2018. Energy Density of Aviation Fuel, The Physics Factbook. Hypertextbook.com. Retrieved 4 November 2018.
Energy and Energy Types, Springer. PDF. Retrieved 4 November 2018.